Spoiler alert. This video shows the answers to all the clues in the treasure hunt. Before watching, please, please, please try the hunt for yourself so you get to enjoy the challenge. Only use this if you really get stuck. Welcome to the fourth treasure hunt or fox hunt. This one is on Arizona Modern. As with all the other previous hunts, we are starting on hole one. And I'll come back in a moment to what it is that we're actually searching for after this clue. Drawing from inspiration as wide-ranging as skate parks, crop circles, and ayahuasca-fueled vision quests, architect Javier O'Ferrara carved Arizona Modern into this desert spire in 1961. Can you decode the secret coordinate system he used during construction? To start, stand right on top of the course's highest hole, the cut position, and orient yourself at the hole before it. The next mantissa bowl sits somewhere just above or below a straight line between the two points. Now we'll pause it there, before you get excited that this is some sort of history quest, the Mantissa Bowl is nothing to do with history. It is a mathematics reference in Mantissa. It is a reference to a term used a lot in floating point numbers, which I'm sure the team at Mighty Coconut are referencing on a daily basis. So this is their little mathematics quest, and that is their Easter egg. So let's continue. So first we need to look for the highest hole, and that is hole number eight. We go to the cut position and look to the hole before. We're going to find it above or below straight line. So we need to draw a line from hole six to hole five. There's hole six, there's hole five, and there is our next clue. So now we've got a mystery hole to hole nine, and that shape resembles hole 10. So the next clue we'll find between hole 10 and hole nine. And there it is. So now we have hole three to a mystery hole. And if we look at the shape, that is the same shape as hole one. So we've got to draw a line between hole three and hole one. This one can take a little longer to find, mostly because this is quite a dark course to search in. But if you look at the cactus, there you'll find it. So we need to do a bit of adding up here to work out which of the holes. Underneath, we've got hole six plus hole five gives us our first hole which means that's hole 11. And then the next addition is hole six minus hole five is equal to one, just to confirm that we've got the right holes for six and five. So we can see that hole 11 is there and using the shape we can work out it's between hole 11 and hole 12. That's the spectacle shape of the green in hole 12. So if we go over to hole 11 and make a route down, there we can see the next clue. Got to do a bit more working out here. Um, I will admit the first of these two calculations I cannot work out. It must be something beyond my capabilities. Uh, but we have hole 16 and we have hole 13. So we've got to go between these two. And there we find it. So we recognize that as hole 16 and that as hole 10 from earlier. So again, we've got to draw a line between the two and see if we can find the bowl. And actually it's right at the top there. So we've got to do another addition. This is two plus five, which is seven, and then drawing a line from there to hole two. So it's somewhere between hole seven and hole two. So if we drop in at hole seven and start making our way down, it's best to use the steps here. And once you get to the next set of steps, you'll find the next clue. So we've got another bit of addition to work out. First of all, we've got the shape of hole seven plus hole four, so that's 11. And then we've got the shape of hole eight, which is the skate park hole. So a line between hole eight and hole 11, go to number eight and just behind the cactus, you'll see it. So straightforward shapes here. That is hole 15 and that is hole 17. So between hole 15 and hole 17, you'll find the clue. And between 15 and 17 is 16. So if you go to hole 16, you'll see the next clue hiding away under the staircase. So our final clue, we've got a bit of addition to do here. So we have hole 14 plus hole four, so that's 18, minus hole one gives us hole 17. And there's a route from 17 to six plus six plus six, which is 18. So it's somewhere between 17 and 18. If you spend a long time looking between the holes, you won't find it because you've got to go right to the end of 18 and look back and there is your final clue. 
at last. You found it. Impressive. The arrangement of Arizona Modern was said to match underlying energy vortices felt only by the architect. Did you feel anything? Even if not, you still get use of Javier Ferrara's personal putter. Congratulations on a great fox hunt. And this is our reward. We have this bent iron putter. Let's christen it on hole five, see if we can get the hole in one. Yep, seems to work all right. So thanks for watching and I'll see you for the final treasure or fox hunt in the next video.